American tourists could soon be visiting continental Europe again. European Union officials say they're finalizing plans to allow Americans back this summer, but last week the U.S. State Department urged Americans to reconsider any international travel they may have planned. Joining me now is Dr. Mohamed Reza, the medical director of Can Community Health in Jacksonville. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Zach. Thank you for having me on. Anytime, anytime. You know, we're at a point in this pandemic, people are beginning, if they haven't already, to get cabin fever. How can people find that balance of being safe while trying to get back to normal activities, especially summer travel? For sure. This is the time when people are taking vacations across the country, across the world. My biggest thing would be get vaccinated. If you can get vaccinated, please get vaccinated because the guidance is different for people that have been fully vaccinated. And what I mean by that is you've received both vaccines or two weeks out from both vaccines of either Moderna or Pfizer, or at least two weeks out from the Johnson Johnson vaccine. There's not as much restriction. So per CDC guidance at this point, if you do travel abroad outside of the US, you should still get tested about one to three days prior and after coming back from international travel, five, three to five days afterwards, if you're not vaccinated. And once vaccinated, the risk of COVID, contracting COVID is just a lot lower. So that being one big thing and also wearing a mask. Right now, the guidance across any public transportation is to wear that mask. So doing those things along with trying to figure out how we can do things outdoors, as much fresh air you can get mm. into whatever event you're planning to do. That's, those are really important key points to take away. You know, you mentioned some. wearing a mask. That's regardless of whether you've been vaccinated or not in those uh, public transit areas. It, it is, it, even if you've been vaccinated in those airplanes, in those trains, in those public settings where you have others around you that you don't know if they've been vaccinated. The safest is to travel with your own immediate family, having everyone being vaccinated, and also traveling to areas where you have family members that have also been vaccinated. So those are the safest things to do. But if you're going to be indoors with lots of other people uh, and you don't know if they have been vaccinated, of course, wear that mask, well-fitted mask over your nose and your mouth. And that goes for you know you and your and children that may be traveling with you older than two. So those are still very important things to do when indoors and unable to socially distance. But doing things outdoors is still a lot better. It lowers the risk, especially once you've been vaccinated. Dr. Mo, I wanted to ask you, I meant to actually reach out to you earlier. This morning we were talking about it again, but we also mentioned it earlier this week. There's a stat out there, something like 8 million, I think, Americans, I believe it was 8 million, if not millions of Americans, uh, have not finished their two-dose series of the COVID-19 vaccine. If you or if a viewer at home is one of those individuals and they are having second thoughts about going to get that shot to finish that series, can they do so? How can they get that started? So uh, the... To get that second dose, it is three weeks for the Pfizer vaccine and four weeks after Moderna, that initial shot. So the CDC guidance at this point does state that they recommend not traveling abroad if you have not been fully vaccinated two weeks out from that fully vaccination state. So uh, you, can, you, know, you can call myvaccine.florida.gov. That will give you information on where to access these vaccines. And these vaccines are now a lot more readily available across different pharmacies, uh, the health department. So those are places to reach out to. But to it's never access. too late. The point is it's never too late to go and finish that series. It, it's not. So that's, a, that, that's an important point. So if you're even three to four weeks out further than that, get that second shot because it does provide a lot of protection. It, it doesn't mean that you can't get vaccinated if you've missed that three to four week period. It's more so you don't want to get vaccinated with that second shot too early. It's, it, you can get it that second shot even after that time of three to four weeks. Dr. Mo, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, thank you.